Now let's move to the UK where the political drama never seems to end. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is under attack on two fronts now. One is Britain's Supreme Court. The second is Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary he sacked earlier this week. Let's tell you about the court first. It has shot down the Rwanda plan, the controversial plan to send asylum seekers to Rwanda. The UK's top court has called it unlawful. And Braverman is roasting Rishi Sunak. She's written an open letter calling him weak and dishonest. Now, both these attacks will destabilize Sunak. His chances of re-election are already low. These attacks will further hurt him and perhaps cost him the leadership of his party, the UK Conservative Party, the Tories. In the next few minutes, we'll tell you how. First, listen to the Supreme Court judgment. As I've explained, the legal test which has to be applied in this case is whether there are substantial grounds for believing that asylum seekers sent to Rwanda would be at real risk of reformant. In the light of the evidence which I have summarized, the Court of Appeal concluded that there were such grounds. We are unanimously of the view that they were entitled to reach that conclusion. This is from Britain's Supreme Court. The deport to Rwanda plan is illegal. That's what the court has said. Rwanda is a country in Central Africa. The UK struck a deal with Rwanda last year. Anyone entering the UK illegally would be sent to Rwanda. It did not matter why, where they came from or why they were seeking refuge. The migrants would be flown to Rwanda's capital, Kigali, and their asylum applications would be handled by Rwanda. That was the deal. It was introduced last year. Boris Johnson was the UK prime minister then. When Rishi Sunak took over, he supported this plan. In fact, he more than supported it. He was depending on the Rwanda plan. He's made five promises to his supporters, Rishi Sunak. Five promises. One of them is to tackle illegal migration. Stop the small boats, as they say. That's what everyone in the government, in the Sunak government, keeps chanting. Stop the small boats. They do not want migrants. And the Rwanda scheme was their best bet. That's how they planned to stop these small boats. Sunak allegedly does not have a plan B. So the UK top court's ruling has crushed his endeavor. The first big blow Rishi Sunak was dealt today. And it comes at the worst possible time for him. Yesterday he got a no-confidence letter and then a scathing attack by Suela Braverman, the Rwanda plan's biggest backer. She was sagged on Monday and yesterday she hit back. She wrote an open letter she told Rishi Sunak and the world exactly what she thought of him. Let me quote a part of that letter for you. Either your distinctive style of government means you are incapable of doing so, or as I must surely conclude now, you never had any intention of keeping your promises. That's parliamentary speak for calling Sunak either incompetent or a liar. And Braverman wrote this letter yesterday before today's Supreme Court judgment. She goes into detail about Sunak and the Rwanda plan. Let me quote again. If we lose in the Supreme Court, you will have wasted a year and an act of parliament only to arrive back at square one. Worse than this, your magical thinking, believing that you can will your way through this without upsetting polite opinion, has meant you failed to prepare any sort of credible plan B. That's Sunak's former Home Secretary, accusing him of not having a plan B to stop illegal migration. Now, this may just be a case of sour grapes. She may be lashing out after her sacking. We'll find out soon enough. But what this attack does is undermine Rishi Sunak further, and it props up Braverman. She's conveniently absolved herself of all the failure and blamed the entire Rwanda fiasco on Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. She's managed to keep her anti-immigration supporter base intact. It's a shrewd political move. It could pay dividends next year. If the Conservative Party loses the UK general election, which they're expected to, then Braverman may pounce. And it could cost Rishi Sunak both his prime ministership and control over his party.